The entire boxing globe held its breath as the daring YouTuber Jake Paul locked in a bout with the legendary Mike Tyson. This matchup marked a collision of generations, a maverick internet sensation stepping into the squared circle with a heavyweight icon whose prowess was the stuff of legends. However, the much-anticipated dream bout may be unraveling before it commences, and the catalyst for this potential downfall lies within the confines of a Las Vegas gym. Breaking news emerged as Tyson unleashed a vintage right hook during a fiery sparring session, sending Paul crashing to the canvas in a decisive knockout. This wasn't merely a light tap. It offered a glimpse of the Iron Mike Tyson still simmering beneath the surface. The internet erupted into a frenzy as memes inundated social media with fight enthusiasts simultaneously celebrating Tyson's resurgence and questioning Paul's judgment in ever considering the fight. According to insiders within Paul's camp, the knockout dealt a significant blow to their fight plans. Although Paul initially downplayed the incident as a learning opportunity, the harsh reality seemed to be settling in. Sources close to Tyson's camp revealed that initially, the bout seemed evenly matched with both fighters landing punches and Paul demonstrating improved technique. However, Tyson's devastating blow shifted the dynamics dramatically. Moreover, everything took a turn for the worse when Paul, renowned for his online persona, supposedly made a lighthearted or perhaps not so lighthearted dig at Tyson. The specifics of the taunt remain unclear, but some accounts suggest it's centered around Tyson's age or a previous boxing incident. Whatever the content, it managed to strike a chord with Iron Mike. The playful banter quickly sparked a transformation in Tyson, the legendary boxer notorious for his volatile temper. Witnesses reported seeing him visibly enraged. What began as a friendly sparring session rapidly evolved into a heated exchange with punches thrown with increasing ferocity. The atmosphere in the gym became charged with tension as the confrontation escalated. The climax came with a devastating right hook from Tyson, reminiscent of his prime fighting days. The blow landed squarely on Paul's jaw, sending him crashing to the canvas in a clean knockout. The hush that enveloped the gym was said to be deafening, interrupted solely by the sharp intakes of breath from the astonished spectators. In the aftermath of the knockout, uncertainty hung heavy in the air. The details of what followed the KO remained veiled in secrecy, with Paul's camp attempting to downplay the incident as a mere learning opportunity, emphasizing the need to respect Tyson's formidable power. However, the severity of the blow and the evident frustration it elicited have cast a shadow of doubt over the entire fight. The revelation of Jake Paul's defeat at the hands of Mike Tyson during their sparring session reverberated throughout the boxing community, sparking widespread shock and speculation. Now, Paul's camp is hinting at renegotiating contracts, but murmurs suggest a more sinister motive at play, perhaps a case of cold feet. Here's why this sudden call for renegotiation might be nothing more than a smokescreen. Let's face it, being knocked out by a 58-year-old Tyson deals a severe blow to Paul's meticulously crafted persona. The storyline of a bold young internet sensation challenging a legend was already a stretch and now the looming possibility of a humiliating defeat on a grand stage casts a shadow. Paul's reputation thrives on calculated risks and emerging triumphant, but a savage knockout by Tyson could mark a pivotal setback in his career. It's not far-fetched to consider that Paul may be exploring avenues to gracefully exit the fight without tarnishing his image. While Paul's team may tout renegotiation, actions carry more weight than words. If Paul is genuinely eager for the match, he'll enter the ring regardless of the outcome. But this sudden urge to renegotiate raises doubts. It's like a hesitant step, and the boxing community will be observing closely. Is this a sincere effort to amend the agreement, or merely a tactical withdrawal masquerading as standard business practice? In the dimly lit confines of Mike Tyson's training gym, the aroma of sweat and liniment fills the air as we sit in the presence of the legendary boxer. Despite the years since his last professional bout, Tyson's voice still resonates with the weight of numerous triumphs. Reflecting on a recent sparring session with the unconventional boxer turned YouTube sensation, Jake Paul, Tyson's passion for the sport reignites. Tyson said, let me tell you, knocking that young fella out felt easier than sipping water. Despite Paul's agility, 
Tyson emphasizes the distinction between speed and raw power, slamming his fist onto the table for emphasis. It's the result of years of unwavering dedication, pushing oneself to the absolute limit, Tyson asserts, his words echoing through the gym. With a renewed sense of purpose, the 58-year-old legend is ready to prove that age is just a number in the relentless pursuit of greatness. The concept of limits has been completely reshaped by Tyson ever since that intense sparring session. Rumors about a potential return to the ring have been circulating around him, whether it involves fighting Paul again or taking on another challenger. Tyson remains unfazed. In fact, he appears invigorated by the idea. This renewed passion is palpable in his training routine. Gone are the days of late-night revelries and partying. Tyson now finds himself back in the gym at the crack of dawn, pushing his limits harder than ever before. The young fighters, he scoffs at them. They believe boxing revolves around social media and trash talk, forgetting the essence of stepping into the ring to stare down your opponent, knowing one wrong move could spell defeat. Tyson's trainer, a wiry man with a serene demeanor, smiles knowingly. Mike transforms into a different beast when focused. It's not just about training his body, but his mind. He reconnects with the killer instinct that earned him the moniker Iron Mike. Tyson leans back in his chair, a mischievous gleam in his eye. So amidst all this chatter about a resurgence, let's just acknowledge that Iron Mike doesn't back down from a challenge. If someone craves a showdown, they better be absolutely certain they're up to the task. Stepping into the ring with me isn't a leisurely stroll. It's a test of metal, a clash of wits, and a flirtation with peril. You've got to brace yourself for anything when facing Iron Mike Tyson. Leaning in, his voice takes on a menacing undertone. They say time defeats everyone. Perhaps that's true for most, but this old warrior still has a few tricks left. I'm far from finished, not by a long shot. The boxing world remains in shock following the intense sparring session between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. News of the knockout reverberated throughout the industry, leaving many pondering Paul's future. However, the controversial YouTuber refuses to yield. In a recent interview, Paul showcased unwavering determination, pledging to glean lessons from the encounter and eventually triumph over the legendary Iron Mike. Admitting the sting of being knocked out by Tyson, Paul acknowledged the brute force of Tyson's right hook, likening it to a freight train. Yet, amidst the physical discomfort, Paul's resolve remains steadfast. Recognized for his bold demeanor, Paul refuses to allow defeat to define him. Instead, he perceives it as a harsh yet invaluable lesson, a stark awakening to his underestimation of Tyson's prowess. Paul added, I underestimated him. I believed I could simply outbox him, but Tyson is a predator. He detects a vulnerability, and I unwittingly provided him with an opening. Despite the setback, Paul remains resolute, poised to emerge stronger from the experience and determined to rewrite his narrative in the boxing world. However, the initial display of bravado swiftly transformed into a resolute gleam in Paul's eyes. While some may scoff at Paul's boldness, dismissing it as the musings of a defeated adversary, his determination remained unyielding. Paul, known for defying expectations throughout his career, thrives on calculated risks and emerging triumphant. This challenge may be his most daunting yet, but Paul embraces it eagerly. Despite being labeled as crazy or delusional, Paul remains steadfast in his pursuit, refusing to abandon his dream of defeating Mikey. While victory may not come tomorrow or even next year, Paul is determined to one day raise his hand in triumph in the ring. Mark my words he declared with a chuckle. In his deep, resonant voice tinged with amusement, Tyson remarked, that kid's got some moves, no doubt. But let me tell you something, even when I'm 90, hobbling with a walker and a dodgy hip, I reckon I could still take him down. The audience burst into laughter, uncertain whether Tyson was jesting or serious. A mischievous grin crept across his face as he winked at the camera. He added, Maybe not with the same fire as in my prime, but hey, experience counts for something, right? Besides, a bit of competition keeps the blood pumping, keeps this old dog young, you know? Deciphering Tyson's true intentions was challenging. Perhaps it was a playful jab at Paul's bravado or a subtle reminder of the vast gap in power between them. On the flip side, this could serve as a subtle tactic to maintain pressure on Paul. A gentle reminder 
not to grow too complacent in his belief that he can cause an upset. Regardless of the underlying motive, it's evident that Mike Tyson isn't taking himself too seriously. He appears to relish the newfound attention and the excitement surrounding the possibility of a rematch. Whether his remarks are meant as playful banter or a veiled warning, Tyson's words have undeniably added another intriguing dimension to this improbable boxing narrative. As we know, Mike Tyson has been unleashing an onslaught of intensity at training camp, accompanied by a stern, cautionary message directed at his opponent, Jake Paul. In response, Jake Paul has taken note of Tyson's altered demeanor, addressing it on his recent podcast. Reflecting on the dynamics of signing the contract, Paul acknowledges the shift in the atmosphere, recognizing that despite any personal fondness, they are ultimately adversaries in the ring. Both fighters seem resolute in their commitment to approach the upcoming bout with utmost seriousness, signaling a mutual understanding that this fight will be no walk in the park. During a recent podcast appearance with Joe Rogan, Iron Mike Tyson opened up about his mindset shift during training camp. Discover what he shared. Tyson emphasized that Jake Paul shouldn't expect an easy fight. How did Paul respond? Tune in to his latest podcast to hear his take on facing the formidable Tyson. The boxing realm is abuzz with the evolving dynamic between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Once characterized by friendly exchanges and mutual respect, their relationship has now sharply turned toward intense rivalry. Iron Mike, in particular, has issued countless warnings to Jake Paul ahead of their clash. The build-up to this highly anticipated fight has witnessed a dramatic shift in dynamics, marked by a transformation in the relationship between the two fighters. This shift extends beyond mere interactions, delving into their approach and mindset toward the impending bout, providing a fascinating glimpse into the psychological warfare often preceding major sporting events. Mike Tyson, the iconic pugilist renowned for his relentless aggression and unmatched strength within the boxing arena, has resurfaced with a renewed energy reminiscent of his prime. He captivates fans with daily training glimpses on X, showcasing his transparent approach to preparation. However, amidst his revealing content, one particular post seized the spotlight. An explicit challenge hurled at Jake Paul coupled with a video showcasing Tyson's legendary punching prowess. This bold move not only demonstrated his physical readiness, but also served as a declaration of psychological warfare, asserting Tyson's unwavering determination to reclaim his dominance. Tyson's declaration resonated with clarity. The era of amicable exchanges had ended, signaling the dawn of preparation for the impending battle. This metamorphosis delves deep into Tyson's storied past, channeling the essence of his historical persona as the epitome of ferocity, the formidable, baddest man on the planet. In reigniting this competitive spirit, he harnesses the primal energy that once propelled him to become the youngest heavyweight champion, infusing every move with unparalleled determination. On the flip side of this imminent clash stands Jake Paul, who has etched a unique path for himself within the boxing realm subsequent to attaining stardom as a social media influencer. Paul's transition from the digital domain to the squared circle has elicited both skepticism and admiration. Nevertheless, his unwavering dedication to the sport remains indisputable. In his podcast, BS with Jake Paul openly deliberated upon the dynamic evolution of his association with Tyson. The initial camaraderie that characterized their interactions has waned since the ink dried on their contract, giving rise to a palpable competitive tension. Paul's introspection regarding this transformation underscores a profound grasp of the high stakes involved. He acknowledges that confronting Tyson isn't merely another ordinary bout. Rather, it constitutes a confrontation with a resurgent legend, a test of his legitimacy within the boxing fraternity. Jake Paul comprehends the enormity of the task awaiting him as he squares off against Tyson, a litmus test poised to define his boxing trajectory. It's an opportunity to silence doubters, carve his niche as a legitimate contender, and redefine his relationship with the sport. What once seemed like a mere publicity stunt has morphed into a serious endeavor for Paul, amplifying the competitive tension with Tyson. This evolution in the dynamic between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul encapsulates the psychological warfare inherent in boxing. 
Gone are the amicable exchanges, now replaced by a relentless drive to emerge victorious, showcasing the fighters' profound grasp of the high stakes involved. The upcoming bout has stirred significant interest among both avid boxing enthusiasts and the sports elite. Across the internet, a flood of content from both camps inundated the digital landscape. Tyson's imposing message, laced with a direct challenge to Paul, serves as a stark reminder of the once unrivaled physical prowess and mental resilience that characterized boxing's golden age. The viral spread of these posts has not only captivated millions, but has also set the stage for a psychological battle, where mental fortitude is as crucial as physical prowess. Jake Paul has boldly accepted Tyson's challenge, confronting it head-on during his recent appearance on a podcast. Throughout the interview, Paul delves into his mindset and preparation, offering a unique blend of admiration for Tyson's legacy and unwavering confidence in his own skills. His responses and insights demonstrate a keen grasp of the psychological aspects of the sport, recognizing Tyson's formidable presence while asserting his own readiness and determination. This verbal exchange of jabs and declarations serves as a prime example of the psychological warfare that precedes any physical confrontation in the ring. Mike Tyson's conversation with Joe Rogan sets the stage for a battle where words are as crucial as punches. In the not-so-distant past, delving deeper into the psychological nuances of his boxing comeback, the legendary Tyson spoke openly about the transformative journey he experienced through rigorous training. This journey not only sculpted his physique, but also reignited the fierce spirit and self-assuredness that once propelled him to greatness. His words echo a universal truth understood by elite athletes. The mental and physical aspects of preparation are intertwined, each bolstering the other to forge a warrior primed for battle. Tyson's philosophy illuminates the profound mental shifts that precede a fight, offering insight into the mindset of a champion who has weathered the peaks and valleys of a storied career. This psychological battle transcends the mere personal development of the fighters, spilling into the public arena where every post interview and comment undergoes intense scrutiny, analysis, and interpretation. It's a stage where strength, weakness, confidence, and doubt are all meticulously dissected. Tyson's calculated show of power and aggression isn't just aimed at Paul. It's a bold statement to the audience, reaffirming his legendary status while sowing seeds of doubt in his opponent's supporters. Conversely, Paul's responses, emphasizing readiness and confidence, aim to reassure his fans while possibly planting uncertainties in Tyson's camp. The rigorous intensity of their training regimes, meticulously detailed through social media and interviews, serves as a tangible reflection of their psychological readiness. In the lead-up to the anticipated bout, both fighters are not only sculpting their bodies for the physical rigors of the ring, but also refining their mental acuity for the cerebral contest that accompanies it. This clash of intellects, unfolding before the watchful eyes of the public, adds an extra layer of fascination to the matchup, transforming it from a simple sporting event into a gripping psychological drama. Here is a recent video message from Paul. Mike Tyson may have endeavored to unsettle Jake Paul with his intense training displays and menacing warnings, but it appears that Paul remains unfazed by the impending challenge. In a recent podcast interview, Paul expressed his curiosity about Tyson's punching prowess, stating, I want to witness the force of his blows, Mike. I genuinely do. Let's unravel all the legends and myths because sure, you're Iron Mike Tyson, but I boast an iron chin, as people are well aware. I can take a hit. Paul's transition from internet personality to professional boxer has been met with doubt and curiosity. However, squaring off against Tyson raises the stakes to unprecedented heights, testing Paul's mettle, skill, and commitment to a sport he entered amidst controversy and skepticism. The stakes of this match for Paul stretch well beyond merely facing off against a boxing icon. Squaring up against the formidable Tyson serves as a crucial gauge of Paul's standing in the boxing world. A triumph here could hush doubters and firmly establish him as a contender worthy of serious consideration. Conversely, a setback might fuel skepticism about his boxing prowess. This isn't merely a test of physical prowess, it's a quest for respect and acknowledgement in a sport that has been slow to embrace him. Additionally, 
Tyson's shift from a supportive mentor to a determined adversary highlights the mental hurdles Paul must overcome. Drawing upon the primal intensity that defined his career, Tyson compels Paul to confront more than just a physical opponent. He must also grapple with the formidable shadow of Tyson's legacy. This bout transcends mere boxing. It becomes a psychological battleground wherein Paul must showcase his mental resilience. He must prove that he possesses the strength not only to match Tyson's physical prowess, but also to confront the legend that surrounds him. Beyond the ring, this fight holds profound significance for the boxing community and its spectators. Paul's journey from social media sensation to boxing contender has attracted a fresh wave of fans to the sport, blending the realms of entertainment and traditional boxing. A stellar performance against Tyson could further blur these boundaries, potentially reshaping the future landscape of boxing promotion and audience engagement. For Jake Paul, stepping into the ring with Mike Tyson represents more than just a fight. It's a pivotal moment, a chance to shatter doubts and carve his name into the annals of boxing history. This clash isn't solely about the physical bout, it's a narrative woven into Paul's career, a test against the legacy of a titan. It's an opportunity to showcase his mettle as a serious athlete and to prove himself worthy of the global stage. The outcome of this duel, both in the ring and in the minds of fans, has the potential to define Jake Paul's legacy in the sport forever. So that's all from today, and if you enjoyed our content, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. Thanks.